Well, good evening, all my little Pokemons. I'm good to hear with you tonight. Feeling extremely fluffy. Kind of wearing a bit of a tutu action. You really can't see it. But I promise, it's there. And I'm putting in the effort. Whew. Well, tonight I'm going to have a little bit of story time to start us off. And that story is about lighting. But to have this story, we have to go way back. Back to about when I was, say, 10 to 12-ish area. Somewhere in that area. All right. We're going back to young me. Young caddy. Uh, my dad has always worked, had always worked long hours already. Uh, he had like a 9 to 5 job, which he tended to work overtime on, so more like, Nine to seven job, sometimes later. Um, so he was always out of the house in the evenings. So. And my mother, eventually, at around that age of somewhere in 10 to 12, started working a, a job herself. Because this is in the late 80s into early 90s, and one income just didn't cover a family's needs anymore, especially a family with two kids. So, mom was off at a job. This is good. This is fine. I'm not having a problem with that. I am certainly not going to complain that my parents worked. If anything, I am proud of them for both doing so. And for being part of the pioneer generation that uh, had to do so. Uh, it did help them also understand why it's harder for some of us nowadays to manage with one income that isn't a good income, if not two incomes. <sighs> yeah, but enough about that depressing part. Now, that meant both parents were off working, usually into the evening. Dad often would stay at Grandma's house because she lived literally next door to his work, uh, and he'd spend time with her and Grandpa. So that meant, potentially, the two children were home, basically attending to themselves. We were a, yeah, well enough behaved. We knew not to stick forks in the light sockets or anything. We knew how to take care of ourselves since we we're pretty little. We are dumb. Uh, <laughs> and my sister was even better at this situation. She had one of these things called a boyfriend most of the time. And she would spend time at boyfriend's house. Because um, there was someone there to talk to and something to do. She meant... Mom's at work, dad's at work, sister's at boyfriend's house. I don't have one of these girlfriend or boyfriend things, so I am at home by myself. And a lot of, for a very short period of time, I complied with a lot of the normal rules. Shut the lights off in all the rooms you're not in. Leave the TVs off in any room you weren't in. This is the point where we had more than a couple televisions at the house, so if you'd watched that video before, this is post that. At this point, we had, each my sister and I had a TV in our bedroom. We had one in the living room, and my mother actually got one put in the kitchen, because she wanted to have TV while she was cooking, so she could watch QVC and buy more cookware. Something like that, I don't know. But... We had a small TV in the kitchen, we had a TV in the living room, we had basic extended cable, which meant no set-top boxes, just wire throughout the house. <coughs> um, and I would then just sit in the living room with the lights off in the dining room, the kitchen, the front hall, everywhere. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Um... And I would feel trapped. Now, to give you some layout situation here, my parents' house uh, had a front hall, came in. Off to the right was the living room from a regular sized doorway. There was a big, like, it would double doorway with no doors on it into the dining room. And then a regular sized doorway into the kitchen. Now, if it's nighttime and you have the lights off in the dining room, you just have lights on the living room, 
it's really dark in the dining room and super dark in the kitchen. Front hall, same deal. Uh, and it would make me feel trapped um, in the living room because uh, I was the only person there. I was only keeping the light on in the room where I was at. And I felt trapped in my light space. Now there was not anything keeping me in there. I could go to the dining room. I can go to the kitchen. But to me, I felt stuck. Now, I made a solution to this problem. When my parents initially didn't understand or like, I turned all the lights on downstairs. I turned on the dining room, the hall, and the kitchen. It's a square, so I mean front hall, living room, dining room, kitchen. And I would put both televisions on to the channel I was watching, whatever I happened to be doing at that moment. In the evenings, uh, Simpsons and Star Trek were usually on, depending on the time of day exactly. So much of the time, I would have whatever channel that was on in both, uh, both those two rooms. I'm home by myself. I have to go to the kitchen occasionally to get food or beverage. And I wanted the TV to be on when I got there. So I was not going to have to lose where I was watching. This was back before things like DVRs and you know streaming media. So I was watching what was actually on. And if I had to stand out in the kitchen and cook for a while, I wanted to be ready and have my TV still playing. <coughs> oh my. My apologies for that. I not mean to cough at you again. So I would have it all set up. TV's both on. All three rooms lit up. The, the three actual rooms and the, the front hall. And my parents would come home and they would be furious because I was wasting all this electricity by having lights on in three other rooms I was not currently in and a second television on, which is in a room I uh, wouldn't be at a given moment. Uh, after a little explaining, they actually understood pretty easily the fact that I had felt stuck. I felt trapped. And they realized, oh, we effectively were leaving a child home by himself most of the time in a room where he felt like he wasn't allowed to leave. Yeah, it was pretty... It was pretty weird. Uh, like, okay, you know what? Three rooms shot in with the lights on, a TV with the light on, is way cheaper than therapy. So we're going to allow this for now. And that's kind of what happened for the rest of the time I lived with my parents. If I was stuck home alone, the whole downstairs was turned on. And that's just how it worked. Um... This did not stop there, though, um, and it hasn't stopped yet, to some extent. I don't turn on all the lights in my downstairs when I'm downstairs, but I do turn on much of them. And the fact that they're a lot less electricity dependent now, I mean, we have the LED lights, so they're like 2% the cost per bulb that a regular incandescent light bulb was back in the day. So not bad. And they have longevity of like forever almost. Except that one that is dead in this room. There's one of these and this is specifically the dimmer light switch ones. So we have one dimmer switch, switch type LED bulb that died. And I am not willing to replace it because it's bright enough in here anyway. <laughs> it's for the bulbs, not chandelier. <sighs> Yeah, but uh, I had to then explain this to Autumn, my, my, my hubby, because uh, when we were in the apartment, it wasn't that you didn't think too hard about. I turned on the uh, the kitchen light and the living room light because that was just two rooms, and we were physically in those two rooms pretty much consistently all day. The fact that I would turn on the computer room's light here, the kitchen light, and the living room light, it confused him for a while that I was leaving all these lights on. Now, I'm not turning all the televisions on, um, mostly because the television has a pause button now, so uh, 
I can pause the TV. That and I don't have one in the kitchen. It's not really that important. I can actually hear the one from either the computer room or the living room when I'm in the kitchen, depending on where I'm currently at. So that's not a, as big a deal. Or I pause it and I start it up when I get back. Uh, but yeah, uh, that has continued onward to adulthood. Um, it's weird the fact that if the lights are not on in the other parts of the house, it feels like I am stuck in the part where the light exists. Him, on the other hand, when it comes to evening when I'm going to bed, he asks me to shut the lights all off. He actually prefers it to be dark when he's, you know, trying to wind down. And to that, I also can understand it. We have a bit of a conflict there mentally. Me, if the lights are off, I feel like curling up in a corner and feeling scared. Not like scared of the dark, more of a feeling more trapped. Kind of luminescent claustrophobic. Would you? Something like that? Uh, him? No, no. Lights off? He's great. Yeah, let him go for all night if he feels like it. Awesome. So weird that we are that different in something that very much polarly opposite. Me, all lights on him, all lights off. Uh, but we do still love each other and we deal with each other's quirks. <laughs> and it does actually work out in the end. Uh, part of me knows that I'm doing a nice thing for him when I go to bed first by shutting all the lights off. Uh, him, he knows he's doing a good thing for me if he goes to bed first and leaves all the lights on because he knows it's making me more comfortable. I know I'm making him more comfortable. So, yeah. Luminescent discussion there for you. I hope that enlightened you this evening and you feel brightened by this uh, little story of mine. <laughs> uh, not that exciting, I know, but uh, story's a story. Uh, and that was one of them. So, do you have a preference on lighting? Are you like me that you prefer to have a lot on? Or are you like uh, my hubby and prefer uh, the more comfort of darkness in the evening? Hmm. Let me know in the comments below. I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, stuff. But for now, thank you for spending some time with this uh, Pokemon babbling about lights and things. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the little dingly bell for the little dingly bell and let you know when I post new videos. Who knows? Might be another YouTube video. I do make a lot of them. It's, it's fun to be. And my Patreon link is in the description box below. If you're so inclined and you wish to help support the channel, which I would definitely appreciate, anything that goes into there does help support me and my videoing to make you better and happier videos. So, to all my little Pokemons out there, thank you again for taking your time of your day to watch me. I will be babbling, get you, babbling back again at you shortly. For now, just keep having fun. And I will see you then. Boop boop.